Finally, it's done. Tic-tac-toe from the Odin project with a computer player, sort of. I'll be diving into this later on, along with some of the progress I've made with my React app that I've been building recently. Welcome to the series where I show you what I am doing to try and become a web developer. My name's Craig and this is week 25. Let's dive straight in to see how much time I've spent on being a web developer this week. The total time this week is 25 hours and 30 minutes, which again is up week on week by about half an hour. Very happy with that. In terms of tutorials, projects and career, I've spent 5 hours 35 on tutorials, 18 hours 35 on projects and 1 hour 20 on career. The time between tutorials and projects are probably a little bit blurred, I'll be honest. I watched so many videos on the Minimax theorem, I nearly went insane. Let's see what I've been learning this week. We'll start off with the main course. And this week it was all about deleting a invoice from the database and refreshing the page to show the updated list of invoices. It also touched on the use of use history to navigate between pages and use params to pull out information from the root. However, use history is obsolete now with version six, so I had to refactor the code a little bit to use use navigation. Yeah. And the Odin project was pretty much doing the tic-tac-toe project, learning about the Minimax theorem. It was a hard project, I'll be honest. I watched a lot of videos trying to implement them into my code. Some of them worked, some of them didn't work. It was a bit weird. Like they would work for one or two turns and then it would just go to the next available spot. I was like, this isn't right. I did set up a kind of playground area just to practice building the Minimax theorem. And I'll be going over that later as well. Eventually I stumbled across the free code camp video, which I've managed to implement that into my code. I would still love to revisit the Minimax theorem. It seems really powerful and I've only really scratched the surface with it and I want to cement my knowledge with it a little bit more. There are a few issues with my AI, which I'll be diving into later on on the computer. Apart from the tic-tac-toe project, I did start looking at the classes. This hasn't been too bad, mostly because I've got a little bit of knowledge of React and how that uses classes as well. I'm trying to focus a little bit more on learning the terminology a little bit rather than just doing it, which I'm struggling with. It's hard. I'm not great with terminology. <laughs> That's everything. Let's dive over the computer and see what I've been building. I'm going to go over the React app first, quickly dive into the whiteboard site I've been doing, and then I'm going to cover the Minimax with the Tic-Tac-Toe project. So I've got the React app running in the background. The changes here have mostly been to do with the timer. So the timer now will stop when it goes to a different screen. I've also tried to work on the lag elements a little bit. There's still a slight issue, but usable I think now. With the going between different screens for the timer, there is a potential for a slight pause depending where it is in the timer. So how I've managed to sort it is that I have added a state which is saying is running and that's false. And within the timer, so the timer calls itself with set timeout and set intervals and things like that. And it's got two checks within the timer. The first one is before a timer starts. So before a new work or rest session starts, it checks that to see if it's running is false. If it is, it cancels it. Otherwise, it also checks it every second within the timer. There may be a better way, but that's how I've done it. So for example, we'll just do five sets of everything and it will go down straight to the rest. And then if I change sites, see there's a little pause there where it's still got the background running, but the timer stopped now. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this site. There is issues with, you know, working on mobile. It just doesn't look great. If I scroll down there, it's not brilliant. But overall, I'm generally happy with it. I'm not sure where I'm going to take it next. Need to have a bit of a brainstorm there. Next up is this whiteboard 
site and I basically just followed a few tutorials trying to learn a little bit more about HTML5 canvases. I need to change this because it actually starts online so I need to make sure that works. But you just hold your mouse down, you can draw around, pretty happy with that. There's a color selector, so you can change colors, clear the whiteboard, change the size. I would say on bigger sizes you can tell that something's a little bit off there. It doesn't quite draw smoothly. And dash, it works and it doesn't work. You've got to move the mouse very fast to get the dash working. If you move the mouse slowly, it doesn't really create a dash effect. A bit more work on this as I still don't fully understand canvases and how to use them properly. Next up is this kind of playground area I created for learning the Minimax theorem. So like the first move always goes in the top left if I remember rightly. And then from there, it just works out where the next move should be. Make sure you check this out if you wanna have a look at it. It's a draw, it's cool, and then just refresh it. So I, I used this really to strip out all my other code and practice the Minimax, try to understand it a little bit better. It's still not great, but getting there. So this was just to isolate the problem really. And then finally, tic-tac-toe, the main thing. If you actually click on this image, it will take you to the Odin project. I thought that was quite nice. First up, we'll have a game with two players. We'll call them Alice and Bob, and we'll start. So rather than using noughts and crosses, I've color-coded it. I thought the colors were quite nice but it could be confusing. So I added this at the top just to let people know whose turn it is. I'm just gonna let Bob win and then Bob has won. So you can rematch with the same players or you can start with new players. If you leave player two blank, it will play against the bot. You can leave player one blank and it will just name them player one. So let's... Um, I'll show, try and show you some issues if I can figure it out. So one issue is that the AI would rather not lose than win. So if I play it here, I think it should go here. I don't know why it does that, which is really weird. It should go there. So there is an issue going on. So there's no difficulty with the AI. It just either tries to win or draw. And I did try to implement a difficulty level, but it just wasn't working. It might work for the first turn or two, and then it was just going to the next available spot. It was something to do with the depth, and I couldn't quite get that working. But it's something I'd like to work on. I'm getting my ass handed to me, I'll be honest. But that's the the tic-tac-toe project. The AI is fairly good. I quite like the subtle colors, I guess, like the light grayish blue, the green and red. Oh, I'm definitely losing. After completing this, I was really tempted to try and build a Connect 4, but I may wait until I've finished the JavaScript section of the Odin project first. Possibly, we'll see how things go. Connect 4 would be a very interesting and difficult challenge because you'd have to make sure it goes to the bottom. That is everything for week 25. I'll be honest, um, this week I felt a little bit down slash nervous. Just with, you know, there's a few jobs that have came back and rejected me, which is totally fine. But I'm starting to feel the pressure of getting a job and I would need to make a decision about getting either a part-time job or getting a full-time job just to support myself going forward. Next week, and probably all subsequent weeks really, I'm going to be focusing on the Odin project a lot more. Would love to finish the JavaScript section. I'm a long way from finishing it, but that'll be great. I'll also continue with the main course. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that this month, but I'm not too bothered if it goes into next month. And if I get time, I'd like to do another front-end meta challenge or some kind of site mock-up. Links to everything will be down below. And as always, I would love to get your thoughts and advice. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you later.